What's good guys, it's Willem here. I wanted to share a store I found with you guys. This store made $22,000 back in December and is still making about $5,000 in revenue each month. The store is in tech niche and I wanted to kind of break the store down in three separate elements to help you guys uh, understand what makes a good store actually good. Because I remember back when I was starting out, back when I made my very first dropshipping store, I didn't really know if my store was good or not and I couldn't really found a reference point. So I hope that this video gives you that reference point to you guys if you're starting a new dropshipping store yourselves. I hope that you can just pick and choose elements you like in this store and implement them in your own stores. As I said, I will be breaking down this store in three main elements. First will be the store design, the product pages, the home page, all the descriptions, the images what makes the store uh, actually look good and trustable. We'll kind of go over what made the product sell well and why I think the product did so well for this store. And element number three will be the ads if I can find them. Okay, with that being said, I think it's time to jump straight into my computer and take a look at the analytics for that store. Okay guys, so let's first look at the analytics of the store. Let's see how much the store actually made and how much of that was profit. As you can see, the most amount of money the store ever made was back in December of last year. The store made $22,000 in revenue, of which $12,000 was in profit before the ad spend. Obviously, we can't see the ad spend right here, so I will just say that $12,000 in profit and the profit dropped down to about $5,000 in March. I guess this was the peak popularity for this product because this is not actually original product that they are selling. Of course, I will reveal the product in just a bit. So let's move over to the traffic. As you can see, the site received about 50,000 visitors in the peak and in the March it received just 30,000 visitors, which of course is still a lot, but it's a significant drop right here. Okay guys, I think it's time we reveal the actual store and let's dive right in. Okay guys, the store is printcubestore.com and the product is basically this small portable printer that you can print on pretty much any surface on and I think it's really great idea for a product it's kind of unique I never seen it before and I, right off the bat you can see that this site kind of reminds you of uh, an Apple site it's really minimalistic you can see a lot of white color the product has no backgrounds it's just uh, white background everywhere which I think looks really nice and gives you that uh, kind of luxurious feeling in the store if we move down to the next section right here you can see that there is this really cool video of uh, product being used and you and you can see that this guy is demonstrating all the possible use cases right here which is really great if you are a potential customer you can immediately see where you can use the product. Also, the video is really well done. You want these kinds of videos in your store. The video is just very well done. It looks like it was done by a big production company. It's very high quality and there's nothing, uh, you know, I would take away from it. For this reason alone, I would order the product even if you are starting out as a complete beginner to m try to make videos like these to use on, on your site. If you have unique videos and unique images on your site, it just makes you stand out for the rest of the crowd. And that's exactly what I'm doing. I actually ordered the product for my own store and I will be shooting a video for that for, to use for ads. And I, think, and I think there's just no way around it. If you're starting a dropshipping store in 2021, you actually need to order the product to make unique media for it. There are just so many dropshipping stores who are copying the images from AliExpress and uh, they all look the same and obviously no one's going to buy from a store like that. If you scroll down even more, you can see that there is uh, more images of the product being used, descriptions, short and simple and to the point, exactly what you want in your own stores. I really like this simplistic look in the store, this white background, nothing really distracting you from the main idea. And here we have, uh, you know, the usual bullet points that you want to include. It's really for customers who are scrolling through really quickly and if they are scrolling past, they can still pick up this information right here. It's easy to read, it's short and to the point. And at the end here you have more uh, selling points, satisfaction guarantee, one year warranty of course, 
for a tech products or for more expensive products you want to offer this kind of warranty i in my store offer a lifetime warranty for the product even if it breaks i will replace it for free this kind of warranty gives a lot of trust for people in your brand so they're more likely to buy if you offer these kinds of warranties and i'm not actually afraid to offer a lifetime warranty because i know that the product is high quality from all the reviews i read and also if product breaks and people remember about the warranty and they message me and I send them a the new product, they will probably leave a good review for the brand and that's good for me, it will make me more sales. Of course we have here free shipping and fast support, things you can't have a dropshipping store without nowadays. So this is pretty much the homepage for this brand, we can move over to the shop. And again, uh, you can't really tell this is a dropshipping store because he, he's done all these custom pictures here and this doesn't look like any Shopify template I've ever seen. The product page itself doesn't have a long description like you're used to because the home page basically acts as a product page. It's already done all the selling. All you have to do as a customer here really is just add to cart and buy. If we scroll down here, we have bundles, that are meant to increase the average order value, which is pretty smart as a dropshipper. So if we go over to AliExpress, you can see that this product is selling for about $97. And as you can see here, this guy is selling it for $229. So if you do the math, that's a hefty profit of over $100 per sale, which is great for this guy, but I don't really like these tech products myself because they can break. I think we're all familiar with the China quality. I wouldn't want to build a long lasting brand on a product I can't really test that good and I don't understand. So let's go back to the homepage and here's the main takeaways I would implement in my own store. First of all, it's this really simplistic design that doesn't really take away from the product. It doesn't steal the focus. And second of all is this video that really shows you how the product is used. And if I as a customer see this kind of video, I just watch it and I immediately understand what the product is, what it does and how it works. And you really want to emulate this kind of experience in your own stores. You essentially want to create a feeling that you are the original developer of this product and not just a reseller. And this store does just that, I think. They have their pretty cool and unique logo right here. And their store looks like pretty much an Apple store. And that's what you really want to go for if you are doing a one product store. You want to make yourself look like you are the original developer of the product. Okay guys, that pretty much sums up this video. I couldn't really find the ads for this store, so sorry about that. I still hope that you will implement the elements that I found useful in this store in your own stores and start making more sales. I know that I will definitely implement some of these elements, especially that video we saw on the homepage. Remember, if you are dropshipping beginner, you want to test, test, test and learn as much as possible. Don't be discouraged if you fail at your first stores, you can always try again. And really, you only lose when you stop trying with this business model. If you made it this far in the video, please consider subscribing to the channel. I am currently doing my own dropshipping journey and next video will be how I went from zero sales all the way to 10 sales with a Facebook ad strategy. So if you're interested in that, please subscribe. Cheers.